what I'm going to do is here I'm going to show you guys how to monitor or how to download and install a PRTG uh, monitoring system so um, PRTG has got uh, free sensors as in community version which can run up to uh, 100 sensors so you can monitor up to 100 sensors um, so I'm just going to download that so go to the PRTG website um, just click the free uh, trial and it will come up with the uh, key as well so just save the file so when you hit the file will be saved um, yep so it's just saving the file um, once it downloaded let's go back to the download folder uh, we can see the PRTG software is downloaded which is the free version uh, open extract all so let me extract the file first uh, and then I will install the software so here's the file you can see it. yep PRTG this is the file just double click right click install English the language so let me minimize I accept the terms and conditions this is going to take some time to initialize and do things so um, uh, let's wait here there you go your email address the next screen is asking about your license name and your license key so if you go back here right um you can see there's a license key copy that license key i'm sure the license name was p r t g trial next yep it worked there you go so you have option to choose whether you want to do the express or you wanted to do a custom one um, I can go with the express because I'm not going to do um, much uh, more uh, sort of a customization but of course if you wanted to do very very much customization you can do that right so let's go express hit next so finish um, the PRTG installation um, here we have the shortcut to just go and log into PRTG but of course at the same time we have got a web interface as well so you can see that it goes to web interface all right so I'm going to use this one to start the PRTG services once the service is started then we can just connect to PRTG and we can start the PRTG configuration um, so my PRTG is um, just about to log in to my PRTG to go and do further configurations um, so it has got by default login and the password so I'm going to log in so the default username and password is PRTG admin and PRTG admin is the default username and default password so now I'm in the PRTG uh, dashboard so we call this as a PRTG dashboard so if you go to home we can see um, the pretty much what's inside so this is the very first time uh, we are in PRTG so we can see a lot of notifications and stuff there so you can just say okay um, so this sort of a guidelines and stuff like here so let's do the good thing first let's change the default password so login name um, uh, specify a new password All right so All right so set up a new password done so password setup is done um, the thing is here you have the save button here so you have to click save here so click save so the new password has been saved that's good let's close this one we don't want this one right so that's the PRTG user um, so we can see that's the user so PRTG uh, notification contact so here 
uh, we have the email notifications right primary so where they have to send the emails um, so you can see under settings we have the user settings uh, you have the notification settings comments right and your previous history so we have options here um, of course we can test the notifications and stuff right so account settings is here active usernames is here web interface um, so everything is here right all right so that's all good I'm going to uh, the setup and so we what we checked it my account pretty much this is what we checked it right now right uh, so you can see here right uh, username new passwords so we have done this all right I'm not going to change anything here I don't think we need to change anything so it's the interval is again 30 seconds so that's all fine let me go back here uh, notification so we have to configure notification delivery so how to receive the email so notification delivery so you can use direct delivery with the built-in mail server if you have got your own SMTP server you can use it or you can use uh, another separate email so this is this is for your net right or land space email server if you have got your own local email server uh, we can use the built-in services that's perfectly all right right so you can say send the email address who's sending these emails admin at com.au send a prtg monitor so who's sending so you will see your emails coming from like this right lmc monitoring so i'm going to say lmc network monitor right lmc network monitor so that's the key um so that's a hello key for that right so that's fine i can click test so who must receive this email so I'm gonna say receive to one of my other email address um, test email click OK right Um, we can we can check this one whether this was success if you go under uh, logs right if you go under log uh, so go to log files right so here uh, we can see what happened to the test email all right we can see here email had gone to that specific email address right so um, if you wanted to confirm we can see here you can see that I just received a test email right so pretty much my emails settings are also working so all I have to do is go back to home now and add devices right so click on devices right So this has um, picked some of those devices already available in the network, right? Uh, you can add your own devices, you can remove it and you can add your device mm, sensors as the way you wanted to. So I'm, I can show you maybe let's start from one. So what I can do is I can go to Windows servers and I can add one server. So let me click on servers, right? I'll show you uh, one configuration and then we can add. So go here, click um, add a device. You have to provide the details here, right? So you wanted to add a device called so servers, right? Click OK. And it's under Windows Server, so it's Windows Server. Oh, here we go. Right, so we can provide the IP address and name. Um, so for example, in my case, let me find the information so I can just come back and add it here. Right name, let me put the name here. Three. 
let's make it more meaningful. I believe three. Right, so the IP address, I'm gonna just specify the IP address here. Right. Of course, it's gonna ask you to provide the credentials and information, so you have to provide that as well. So you can pick the logo or the device icon. It's not really important. Uh, discovery, so here, no auto discovery. So if you put the auto discovery, it's gonna find out all the possible sensors for that specific server, right? It is one of the good thing to do that, but if you have limitation on the sensors, it's better not to give the auto discovery because you will end up running more, no more servers, uh, sorry, no more sensors. Uh, but if you have got enough sensors, you can do it, right? Inheritance, um, we, how you are gonna get the authentication to identify the information from that machine? So you can provide the uh, authentication here by creating the credentials. So you can provide the credentials, sorry, by providing the credentials, right? So um, we can provide it here, right? What you can do is click OK so that the authentication credentials are picked up, right? Now you can see the server has been added here. So all you have to do is you have to go click Add Sensor. So the first one I'm going to make it easy uh, to check the availability. So let's let's go and search for ping or we can say ICMP. So what you can do is you can click here Availability right so you're going to monitor the availability target on windows systems so the technology that you're going to use to monitor this availability is pink right so now we can see there's a tool called or the sensor called pink right i'm just going to add this right so click add right so now it's adding the sensor to that specific machine so now my PRTG is going to monitor the Hyper-V3 for availability. Um, the device is discovered and it's going to add the sensor type ping. Um, and then we have timeout period 5 seconds. So if the system is unavailable for 5 seconds, it's going to send ping packets. And then once, if it doesn't get the response, it's going to send email notification, right? Send multiple ping requests, right? Um, scanning intervals and create so now my first sensor has been created and attached to my first device so i can see now if i go back to my device i will see one sensor is already attached and it'll, it's trying to collect the data once the data has been collected we can see the status will change to up so the green color uh, this the, the, that will turn to green right let's wait here for a second and refresh and check the status. Uh, of course, we can come back, so it's just, it haven't got the data yet. Um, what I can do is I can go back to devices here. All right, if you go back to devices under servers, we will see Hyper-V3 here now. It's still collecting the information, right? So once it's done, you will see uh, the data. All right, let's, let's, you can do that. Uh, I can add another sensor if you wish so you can go there and you can search another sensor and add it right so this is this is how normally you add a device and the sensor so we have um, various sensors available so you can see here it's around 286 sensors available on this one some of those sensors you can't use it on the community version because you need to have the license but some of them can be used right this needs to be the I need valid uh, credentials, so you have to authenticate to use these sensors, which I haven't done it. So if you wanted to use it, I have to authenticate. So I have to provide the proper username and password and I have to connect this one, right? So that I'm not going to look at it now. The the very common ones that we use is uh, SMTP, uh, SNMP traffic monitoring. Um, you can do, uh, if you wish, if you have got SSH services, you can use the SSH services, right? um so the very common ones are so if you have got a synology device you can monitor the synology device as well as here you can monitor the logical disk on the synology device you can monitor the physical device physical disk um system uptime right um so if you go up you will see various like disk um space 
right how much free space they have got all this information can be monitored so if you scroll up uh, or the easiest way is rather just you go up and down and do things what you can do is you can go all up all the way to the search box and you can say disk and so you can see now see it gives you smtp sm snmp uh, disk free so monitor the free disk space on a logical disk via snmp right um, you can see physical disk so we can add all these sensors um, we will do one mark to the other right uh, yeah that's that's pretty much uh, PRTG server configuration, right? Hope you enjoyed.